Hi, you are welcome to the Twitter Think channel. Today we have formation of differential equation part two. There is a first video under this topic. Kindly visit my page, subscribe to this channel, and search for formation of differential equation part one. So, in this question, we have y giving us a x squared plus b x, and we are told to form a new differential equation with this. So we are trying to form a new differential equation with this. And in my previous video, I said that when you see something like this, we have A and B called the arbitrary constant. So they are two constants. The number of constants in the question will determine the number of times you have to differentiate the function or the equation y equal to this. Since we have two arbitrary constants, we will differentiate the equation two times so as i do this i will name this first function equation one then i'll differentiate here and differentiate this so i'm differentiating y with respect to x to get dy dx giving me this will give me two ax plus b so when i differentiate this this will give me one one minus one at the power there will give me zero giving us 1 times b so i'll name this one equation 2 then i'll differentiate the second time because i need to differentiate twice and i've told you that i'm differentiating twice because there are two arbitrary constants here so the second time will be the square y out of dx squared giving us when i differentiate this what am i getting i'll get one the power here is one one times two a will give me what two a 1 minus 1 will give me x raised to the power 0. The derivative of a constant is always 0. So this b will go off. So now this is my third equation. Now we want to solve or create the differential equation in such a way that we can get rid of the constant a and b. But when I look at all the, the first differential and the second derivative, it is very easy for me to make a the subject here so i'll say make a the subject in equation three so when i make a the subject i'll divide this dy dx by two so let me <laughs> for the sake of those of us that really have basic problems in mathematics i will do this for your sake so this is the same as me saying the square y all over dx squared divided by 2 this is a separate function on its own equal to a so it is the same as me writing the square y all over the x squared divided by 2 which is equal to a so i rewrite this as the square y over the x squared times 1 over 2 because this place is over 1 so therefore a will be equal to the square y out of 2 dx squared which is the same as 1 over 2 the square y all over dx squared so this is what we have everything here equal to a so now that we have 1 over 2 when i multiply this i'll get this which is the same as this so i know a I can now substitute a into equation 2. So where is equation 2? This is equation 2. So wherever I see a in the equation 2, I can substitute a so that it will be easy for me to find for b. So from equation 2, we have um, dy dx giving us 2. Our aim is to get rid of a and b. So that is what I am doing. x plus b this is equation two so now i know my a to be this so wherever i see a i'll put this one there so i'm getting dy dx giving us two into bracket one out of two d square y all over dx squared Just multiplying x plus b now when i get here this can take care of this and so my dy dx will give me x can multiply this will give me x d square y all over dx squared plus b 
so i am interested in b so i can make b the subject of the equation we come and substitute it into the main function here once we are able to get b it will be easy for us to solve so to make b the subject i'll carry everything here and bring it to this side to be able to do that i'll say that dy dx now when i carry everything here to cross the equal sign i'll get minus x d square y over dx squared equal to b so i'll name this one let's say equation four now i have b to be equal to this and then i have a to be equal to this so if i know a and i know b i can put it in equation one so let me repeat a now you go back to the original function we have y equal to ax squared plus bx we substitute a and b into the main function to complete the work so now we have our y giving us let me rewrite it a squared plus bx this is from equation one so we put a and b into equation one so now let's do that and see what we get so we have y giving us what is a a is one out of two d square y all over the x squared this is multiplying x squared so i'll put the x squared here plus now what is b b is this everything that we have here so b is dy dx minus x d square y all over dx squared multiplying x so now that we have gotten here we can expand through using the x and using x squared here so i'll multiply through by x squared multiply here by x so i'm getting y giving me um let me just do it straight one out of two x squared which is coming from here d square y ds squared then plus this times this side will give me x dy dx let's not forget that there is an x here which is negative so when i multiply this and this i'm getting minus x squared d square y out of dx squared so this is what we are having look at it very carefully when we look at the d square term and the d square term we have a common term here everything here is common everything here is common so the coefficients of the x square here is one and the coefficients of x square here is half so i can rewrite this by grouping like terms by saying y equal to one out of two x squared d square y all over dx squared then i'll bring this minus x squared d square y all over dx squared plus x dy dx so we can now subtract since all this term is the same and all this term is the same we can subtract one from half when we subtract one from half we are getting um negative half so i'm getting y giving me minus one over two so look at this if you are not still getting what i'm doing listen carefully i have here the square y over the x square is the same thing as me having x square d square y so they are common that is why i brought all this side to this side now the coefficients here the value in front of x square is one over two which is half 0 0.5 the value in front of x square here is one so now i can work on both of them one out of two minus this one will give me negative one out of two and i'll just pick one of this give me s squared d square y d s squared plus this side giving us x dy dx so i think to avoid the negative we bring this one first and we take this to the other side 
So we have y giving us x dy dx. And I take this to the side minus 1 out of 2 x squared d square y dx squared. So now we have formed a new differential equation this omitting the constant a and b and this is what they are interested in i think we can leave it here so this will be our final answer this is how we tackle questions under this topic formation of differential equations your target is to look at the function given to you the equation given to you check the arbitrary constant ask yourself how many arbitrary constants uh, do i have in the question if it is one or more you differentiate according to the number of arbitrary constants so that is how i go about it so i differentiated twice to get this now try to make any of the variables the subject with any of them that will be simple for here we can make a the subject when we finish we substitute it here to make b the subject and once we were done we got a to be this b to be this we carry everything and we substitute into the main formula and then we break it down to form this so this is it this is twitter thing my name is daniel and i will see you in my next video kindly subscribe to this channel if this work was helpful you need to take your time to go through go over the video all over again to get the basic understanding i believe i have tried my best to explain for you to understand if this was helpful to you don't hesitate to subscribe